Today is the last day of November. And as you can see here, I've earned over 1200 US dollars writing with AI and really only spending a few hours per week. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can too, with no other investment other than a little bit of time. I'm gonna show you the tools I use, my method, everything. Let's get into it. So for starters, I write on a platform called Newsbreak, although this method will work if you host your own blog, write for a publication, or however you choose to monetize your writing. I have a video which I will link in the description below on how to get started on Newsbreak. It is free to sign up for and they endorse the use of AI, making it a perfect fit for this method. Let's jump straight into how I craft these articles using AI and then I'll show you how I post them and actually earn money from them. I'll outline two methods I use for these articles, one paid, one free, and they both can be used to generate great pieces of writing, which you can then shape into quality articles in just a few minutes. The first platform is my preferred method, and that is a website called seowriting.ai. Let's say we have this idea here. We're gonna go to the one-click blog post, and I'll just enter the title in here, and then enter our keywords here. So for this one, we wanna focus on Elon Musk, and Twitter slash X. Then what I do is for target country, we're gonna go to US. Because I'm writing news articles, I always turn this to small. If you do medium or large, for one, it takes a lot of your monthly word, but also it can repeat information and just adds work for you to have to sift through when you are shaping your article into a cohesive story to be posted. This tool is free to sign up for, although there is a limit on the amount of articles and words you can use per month. So if you would like to use this to earn a steady income, I would recommend upgrading to the paid version. And if you use my promo code, you'll actually save 25% off. I will add a link in the description below, but everything I'm gonna show you here, you can do for free. I'm going to source the images myself. So I'll skip this for SEO. If you click NLP keyword generation, it will automatically populate some keywords to rank for SEO. And what I'm gonna do here is just go through this and add tags that may be relevant to my specific story and remove ones that may produce redundant information. These all seem fine and I'll add in Twitter versus threads, threads, Facebook, and you will Google traffic report. Okay, and then for the structure, I'm gonna add a conclusion, remove tables, H3, which are subheadings. I'm gonna say yes, lists, no, italics, no. Quotes, no. Key takeaways, yes. FAQ, no. And bold, no. And reasoning why is because I want the process to be as efficient as possible. When I go to post this article, I have to find information to back up what the AI provided. So for example, with quotes, if you tick this box to yes, often it will just make up quotes. And then in the past, I've learned from experience, I have gone and tried to find the quote, it doesn't exist and I'm on a, a wild goose chase. So I try to keep the information as basic as possible. What I want is a good solid base that I can then edit, add things to, to make my own. And then for connect to web, this is how the AI will actually source your information. So for networks, say yes, because I want up-to-date results source links, of course. And then for the search source, I pick URLs because this gives you a more structured article. It will source all the information from the URLs you provide it, which is a great segue into how to find the topics to write about and your source URLs. There's two ways I like to do topic research. And the first is on Google Trends. Go to trends.google.com and then click on explore. Change this to whatever country you're targeting. Toggle this the past 90 days, change this to new search because the type of articles I'm writing are news articles. And then for categories, this one, first I generally tab through the first 20 results to see if there's anything that speaks to my specific niche. So on news break, I write about social media, marketing, and modern entrepreneurship. That's like my my bio. So I try to find topics that fit those niches. If there aren't any, like there aren't now, I'll go to a subcategory. So I find this one works really well for my niche. See if there's any that stand out. And let's say I 
fine one. This one here is actually one I have already written an article on, so I'll just use this as an example. Click on it, and then I'll see some key phrases people are searching for, and then let's say this one, and what I'll just do is copy and paste this into Google, adjust the search results to news to see the news articles people are writing, and if this was the topic I wanted to write the article about, I would just open the top three results, copy the URL, and then when I'm adding source links to my article, add them all, separating them with a comma to tell the AI that these are the articles I want you to source your information from. And that helps the AI to write a succinct article. But since this is not about Rachel Zegler, we're gonna do this article on Elon Musk. So I'll show you the second method. And this is how I found this topic for Elon Musk. And that is Google News. Go to news.google.com. And if you're not based in the US like myself, you'll see here, this pops up as Canada. So you just go ahead and click this gear and then under language and region, just adjust this to the US and then go update. And then you'll see here now it will show you results for the US or whatever country you are interested in. I just pick anything that seems like it's interesting or in this spotlight section. So let's say I pick this one here and essentially what I do, it helps me keep things organized is I just copy and paste the title and the link into a Google Sheets page here. And then for additional URLs, I just copy the title back into Google, reduce it so there's more results. And then I go to news and then I'll just get the top three links. Using these, we're going to generate a brand new article as opposed to the common method I see out on the internet to take existing articles and then spin them using an AI spinner. What tends to happen is the writing comes out very robotic. They're not enjoyable to read and they don't lead to long time readers. With this method, you write organic content that you don't have to worry about plagiarism with, and you can edit it into your own words to make a good piece of content. Once we have these links inputted, we're going to go ahead and run it. And you can see here, often this will happen that some of the websites you use have blocks on their content being used for AI. Like for instance, all Medium articles have a default block built into their code that you can't use AI to rewrite or use as a source to create new content. So we'll just remove that link. And while this is populating, I will show you the other way. If you don't want to sign up for SEO writing or you want something that has unlimited articles and words, you can use a chat GPT Google Chrome extension called web chat GPT. It essentially allows you to connect chat GPT to real live results without having to upgrade to the pro membership. So after you have installed the extension, you will see option here for web access. Let's say we want to write the same article. So I will say write a news style article on the following topic. Use this URL as a source. Under advanced, you can actually add in your own prompt. I've gone ahead and made my own. So if you tap this little settings box, you can see here, you can make a new prompt just to save time. So let's go ahead and populate this and see what chat GPT comes up with. Okay, and you can see it's made an entire news article and even added source links, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want and is a great basis for an article, which I will now show you how to put the finishing touches on and upload to your blog to start making some money. So let's go back to SEO writing and pull up the article because it's now been completed. And you can see here what it has provided us with. There's headings and subheadings as well as links all on one page. You can easily copy and paste this into your blog tool if you write on WordPress or however you host your blogs. And then what you're going to do is go through it, open up the source links, add quotes, links, tweets. You can use the source links as a foundation to structure it, giving you everything you need to create an original, authentic, and professional piece of writing that people will not only click on, but read and continue to read your work in the future. So let's fast forward to the finished product and voila, you can see here, I have created my own article using the AI as a basis. I've used my own custom image here, which I made in Canva to avoid copyright and also to intrigue the reader to click. Some other tools I use are Grammarly for spelling and grammar. As I mentioned, I have a video on exactly 
how to get started on Newsbreak if you're interested in making money the same way I do. Hope you found this valuable. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.